Hello. Welcome to Barrows and Whites. I'm Adrian. I use masculine pronouns. One of my goals with starting this channel, which I talked a little bit about in my channel intro video, is that I want to share things with you that I'm making either as a costume or as part of my history-bounding, vintage-inspired wardrobe. And one of the things that really separates a modern masculine outfit from a vintage-inspired one is the hat. Hats are a big thing. A hat maketh the man. Now, I'm not usually a hat person. My hats have been limited to woolen hats in winter and the occasional pirate hat for... pirate occasions. <laughs> and I have two baseball caps, one from a group Halloween costume from work eight-ish years ago, and one that my university sent me when I enrolled as a grad student this past winter. That's it. Excepting a couple of specific costume pieces or theme park souvenirs, those are my hats. But there are two things that are nudging me into maybe expanding my hat horizon a little bit. One, during the summer of 2020, I binge-watched the later four seasons of Peaky Blinders. And I think we've all been at least a little inspired to dress like a 1920s gangster in our lives, right? It seems to me that anyone who has watched more than one season of this show has bought something to dress like Killian Murphy's Tommy Shelby. And two, I started following Dandy Wellington on YouTube and Instagram. Took a wardrobe styling class from him last year. If you are unfamiliar with Dandy Wellington, he is a band leader and entertainer who is well known for his colorful vintage jazz age style. Like, the guy gets featured for his style a lot. A lot. And he's very passionate about hats. He's got a hat for every occasion. I will never be as stylish as Mr. Wellington, and I doubt I'll ever be someone who has a hat for every occasion, but I have found myself on walks with the dog and working in the garden in the sun with no shade and thought to myself, you know, I think I might need a hat for this. So I did a little bit of searching, and I found a tutorial and pattern combination for a Peaky Blinders newsboy cap by Tony Allen Bernier. His Etsy store and his YouTube tutorial will be linked below. I also happen to have about three and a half pairs of jeans worth of scrap denim, which would make the perfect test hat in this style. I do have some nice wool that I got in an eBay D stash that I think would make a really nice newsboy cap in the future, but I want to make sure that I'll actually wear this thing before I make a super nice one. And it's good to get some practice in with sewing something like this. I don't think I've ever sewn a hat before. If I have, I can't remember. I don't have much to say about the process of making this hat. You can watch the full tutorial for free on YouTube for step-by-step -step instructions. <laughs> I decided to improvise the brim insert for this hat. There are hat inserts available for sale, but I have a ton of scrap interfacing pieces, including a very stiff interfacing left over from bag making projects. I layered up some of the interfacing until I was satisfied that it would hold its shape and that I could still sew through it. I ended up making a couple of changes at the end of the process because I just didn't feel like ordering new supplies. The tutorial uses an elastic sweatband, which both covers the raw edges and tightens the hat for a multi-size fit. I decided to use a spare binding strip from a quilt project and a scrap piece of one inch elastic to achieve the same effect.
That's it. It's a fairly straightforward project with some fiddly sewing to get the brim to work right. There are some things that I will do a little differently with the second hat, if I get around to making one. The brim on this one isn't quite even, and I can make some little changes to get the body of the hat to lay a bit better along the brim. I think some of the difficulties I had with the brim construction can be fixed by using a different sewing machine, where I can remove part of the bed to get a better angle. There is also a minor seam bulk problem with so many layers of denim coming to meet at one point, but I don't think that will be as noticeable with the weight of wool fabric that I have set aside. Otherwise, I'd say that this is a perfectly serviceable hat. I'll test drive this one over the summer and see if it's something that I'll add as more of a day-to-day -day item. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff I'm supposed to say now. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.